These are 10 incredible games that cost only the time it takes to download them, offering great story, graphics, and playtime. My name is Brayden, and welcome to Valve Guides. Steam is home to a variety of different games and is the go-to platform for any PC gamer. It's also a great place to discover new games with great potential and graphics, all for free. To date, we will look over the top 10 free-to-play games on Steam in 2019. The Steam store often does free weekends where games are free to play for three days. Uh, these type of games will not be included on the list, obviously, because they're only free to play temporarily and then you have to buy them. To find free-to-play games, all you have to do is go to the Steam store, click the Games tab, and click Free to Play. But for these obviously you can just search the names. Starting off with number 10, a title most of you have probably heard of, but a lot of you probably haven't even tried. Warframe. It is an open world third person shooter. Much like Destiny, it is set in an alien universe with PvE missions for you to complete. Players control the members of the Tenno, who are pretty much warriors from the ancient times, who were in cryosleep and awoken to find themselves at war with a mega corporation. This game offers great graphics and very fun gameplay. It is an MMO allowing you to play co-op with your friends or PvP with other players around the world. The game has constant updates and events. In fact, a lot of people did not like the game when it first came out, but now it's considered, as it's on this list, to be one of the top free games of all time. It's a bit difficult to get into just because of the amount of expansion and updates have come out since launch, but if you're willing to get past that, it is an incredible game to get into. It was initially released on the 23rd of March 2013, and since then the player base has been booming and the game is doing really well. At number 9, we have Dota 2. <laughs> Dota 2 is one of the most popular esports in the world, so there is no way that we couldn't include this MOBA on our list. The game is 6 years old with still around 700,000 concurrent players. The game has complex mechanics and will take a bit of time to get used to, however if you have friends who already know what they are doing then this game will be hours of fun for you. The game is very competitive, however it can be relaxing at times if you're just playing with friends. The game gets updates regularly and the money poured into it is surreal. The game is fast paced, however matches can take quite a while to play out. There are hundreds of playable characters you can use, all with unique traits. The game has a load of content and there is no surprise as to why it's one of the most played games on Steam. Number 8, Warface, not to be confused with Warframe. Warface is a first-person shooter set in the modern world and it features stunning graphics from the CryEngine and a strong player base. CryEngine is one of my favorite game engines of all time. If you don't remember the Crisis 3 tech demo, mm, it, it was something else. It has a variety of game modes, free-for-all, TDM, search and destroy, and it also has co-op missions to complete against decently made UI. The graphics are very good for a free game and it runs pretty well. The game plays like a mixture between CSGO and Call of Duty and is pretty fun. It can sometimes be pay to win, but with good aim and skill, you can be just as good as anyone who has plowed hundreds of dollars into the game. Number 7, Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a free-to-play dungeon crawling game and is a great alternative to Diablo 3 with a top-down look on the game. It's pretty slow-paced, more leaning towards loot gathering than getting kills. However, the game has good graphics, hours of gameplay, and pretty active developers. The game holds PvP tournament sessions with game modes like Capture the Flag. It's pretty competitively free-to-play with the developer saying that you cannot gain gameplay advantage with real-life money. The game has around 75,000 average concurrent players and is still going strong after almost releasing six years ago. If you're a fan of Diablo 3 or Diablo style games, this might be a great free alternative for you. Number 6, War Thunder. War Thunder is all about pilot PvP. This game is cross-platform with Mac, Windows, Linux, and PS4. However, Xbox One can only cross-platform with PC. There are over 1,000 different vehicles and 80 maps for you to explore and try out. There are also PvE missions with historically accurate missions and dynamic solo missions. The graphics are really impressive and the sounds are very, very pleasing. The flying mechanics are said to be very realistic and immersive and all around great considering it's free to play. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie though, it's not really my area of expertise or forte. Number five, paladins. Paladins is a great free-to-play alternative to Overwatch, offering a variety of characters to choose from and play. The champions all have unique abilities and a mount that can be used to travel the well-made maps quicker. Much like Path of Exile, this game is completely free-to-play and anything that affects gameplay can be unlocked by just playing. There is a playstyle for everyone, a sniper champion, a builder, an assault type of character carrying a rifle, etc. The game is fast-paced with the objective to move the payload, much like Overwatch and Team Fortress 2. There is a lot to do in Paladins and it's pretty competitive However, it is nowhere near as big as Overwatch as it only has around 20,000 active players compared to Overwatch's roughly 400,000. However, considering it is a free game, the cartoon style graphics look good and the game runs very well even on an old laptop. It's a great game if you want to have the casual gaming experience with your friends without having loads of angry people shouting at you for being new and it's entirely risk free because it's free to play. Number 4, World of Warships. World of Warships is a competitive sailing PvP game where you man your own battleship and compete with your team to sink the other ships. There are PvE co-op scenarios to complete with your friends or you can take part in the MMO battles. The game has over 200 ships to play with and 31 maps. The graphics are very impressive for once again a free to play game and the sound effects really immerse you in the battle. With daily missions to complete you will find a lot of content in the game released back in 2017, has a lot of updates and the developers are fairly active. As of January 2019, the game is in the top 10 most played free-to-play games on Steam. Number 3, Ring of Elysium. Got my own monster. ROE is a new trending battle royale with a very unique take on the genre. It is set up in a winter world where the storm is called the Ymir. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but we're going to go with that. Gradually, the storm closes in on the map whilst freezing everything inside of it. And there are many items in the game with updates pretty frequently. The game is currently free with the option to buy a battle pass like Fortnite. It takes around 15 seconds to find a match. However, there are generally only around 60 players in a game. The map is fairly large and sometimes leads to more boring or slow paced gameplay depending on if you think slow paced is boring or not is entirely up to you. However this can be fixed easily as the game has around 35,000 concurrent players. Considering Fortnite is free to play and this is free to play and still has 35,000 concurrent players that's pretty nice. Number two, Heroes and Generals. choose a faction and fight for your country in an all-out war with thousands of players taking part. The game has over 65 weapons and 70 land and air vehicles for you to control and join in the fight with. As amassed a great player base and the matches are extremely fun, as you know each win will help you win the war. The maps are beautifully made and the graphics are amazing. The gunplay can sometimes be slower paced, but that is because the map tends to be very large. The game is free to play, however recently there have been complaints about excessive pay to win features. There is a veteran membership which gives you multiplied XP and money drops and this seems like the only real way to unlock weapons without having to spend your entire life grinding out levels. The developers are pretty active with this game and they are constantly fixing bugs thanks to the help of the community, however sometimes they leave things unbalanced and it takes a while to fix. Overall the game is great but could do with pushing back more towards being traditionally free to play and keeping its original player base. Number one, this might come as a big shock to you, uh, see us Let's go. <laughs> Obviously, we couldn't leave CSGO out. CSGO has recently been made free to play, which probably makes it the best free to play game out there. Obviously, we are extremely biased towards this. Uh, you don't have to take our word for it. Just try it yourself. The game is one of the biggest competitive esports in the world with millions of dollars in prize money every year. The game is polished, looks decent, and has hundreds of thousands of active players. There is nothing to buy to help aid you in winning in this game. It's entirely free to play. There is nothing 
nothing gameplay changing to unlock and everyone has the same weapons no matter what your level and the only thing you can spend real money on is skins that just change how the gun you're using looks. Has absolutely no tactical advantage. The game started to decline in its player base with the release of Fortnite and other battle royale games. However, CSGO has added its own battle royale mode with a very unique take on the genre and along with that is now free to play. The game is almost seven years old now and there are many rumors going around as they have been for the past couple years that we will see a new Counter-Strike game very soon. The game has a working ranking system, ranking you based off of skill and placing you with players who have a similar skill level, theoretically. Their anti-cheat system is decent but not perfect, however I haven't encountered a hacker in a long time. They have a system called Trust Factor which costs $15 unless you already paid for the game and this allows you to play against other players who are trusted and this means they have reached level 21 and have no reports of substance against them. Valve has been doing a really good job with making the game free to play and it could be the boost that brings the game back to life fully. On update day, it overtook Fortnite as the most streamed game on Twitch, which is pretty exciting. That just about does it for the top free to play games on Steam, y'all. What is your favorite game to play for free? And did we miss anything that you believe should be on the list? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, happy new year. It's 2019. I know I didn't make the last two videos leading into 2019. I apologize for that. I had to travel and things were just a bit hectic. But thank you guys for sticking with us through the new year. To any new viewers who stuck around this long, that's freaking incredible and I love you. My name is Brayden and you've been watching Valve Guides. Stay amazing and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.